Calorex heat pump. It's got a leak in the um, condenser somewhere. Picked it up in the. There we go. We've tried that uh, trace gas in there, and it's picked it up inside the um, water connection. So your um, evaporator, compressor, obviously. We've got an automotive style drive. We'll have to do away with that because I haven't got one. Just put a normal one in there. Um, hopefully it should be quite easy to change. But this is on R22 which is banned here. So we're going to have to take the compressor off and change the oil in that and put the 407C in there. Well, that's the new one. Um, yeah. So we've got to check that it's actually the right one, so it's completely different to this one. The pipe sizes are similar. Um, so it may well be that this is probably 20 plus years old, probably 25 years old. So that might be this might be the new version. Right, we've confirmed that's the correct part. That's so obviously this, this thing's probably 25 years old, so they've changed the design. We're just waiting on a, they're going to email the drawing to us because they couldn't tell us which was the inlet and which was the outlet. But, um, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll get this took out in the meantime. We've got to change the oil in the compressor. Right, we've got the compressor. Took the wires off, we've marked where they went. Um, cut the two pipes, took the bolts out, so that's ready to go. We're going to take that out, tip the oil out of it. Um, then we can get the new condenser sighted in there. We might have some fun getting those bolts undone because they look quite rusty. I think there's one down, one down there. There might be one in that corner. Possibly one down the other side. Maybe not. Oh, no, there's not one there. So we might be lucky, it might just be that one there. We've got to change that drawer. Right, we've got the oil out of the compressor. It's just over a litre, 1.1 litres. And we've just tipped it out the suction. It actually looks in quite good condition. Very good condition for the age of the thing. Um, so we'll get it all put back together and then we'll just pump it in through that stud. 1.1, 1.2 litres in there. That hissed a bit, so we had some pressure in there. We've got to bend these. They're too high. The top of the unit's only about here. So these are stainless, so I'm hoping we can bend these by hand. But well, I've got them tubes bent over. Um, we've mixed some of this special flux up with some water um, and put some on the end of the tube. Uh, I found if you just try and use it dry, it doesn't work very well. They, as soon as you put the torch on it, it um, all flux buggers off. So we'll put that on like that. And I might just go around there and make sure I've got some actual flux properly on the um, copper. Um, you don't need a lot of heat, so I'm using the propane torch. And these are 56% silver rods specific for doing um, stainless, stainless to copper joints video. Right, we've got M2 done. The second one's gone a bit better. Um, so that's going to focus. Probably not. Let's try again. It's a bit better view. That one's gone a bit better than that one, but it, it's very um, fluid. Once you get the solar warmed up, and it's, it's like water. So you, you don't get a nice fillet on there at all. It's going to get sucked in there. If you try and fill it up so it's got a nice curve to it, you're going to put way too much in there. It's more like plumbing solder than um, brazing in the way it behaves. Right, I've gone down those uh, mounting holes with a tap and just cleaned the threads out. Um, 
the one at the back already had a bolt in this, that weren't too bad, but this one down here was quite, it was just full of rust, but we've cleaned that out. And the one at this side here, um, there's no captive nut for that, but luckily the hole was there, so I've just put a M6 sort of quarter inch size um, nut and bolt in there, so that's that's holds that in there nicely now. Um, we've got our water connections that we've got to put in here and down the bottom. Got to put the compressor back in. I've put some grease on here, I've got some spray grease in there, a whole can. If I ever take a compressor off, I just put some in the holes. Um, I mean, chances are you never need to undo them again, but if you do, you'll be glad of the fact that they're not rusted in. Um, anyway, to get the compressor back in, then we can look at piping it back up and put some oil in it. Oh, and we've got to change the dryer. Luckily, there's sight glass here, so we don't need to put another sight glass in. Right, we've got the wires back in. The red on there, yellow and black. Same as that. Got the compressor base back in. New dryer. Put a new sticker on there. We've got 407 in it. And we've got to put the temperature sensor. It's got to go in the little tube at the top. 